The War Within is almost here, and I decided to make a quick leveling guide for Havoc Demon Hunter, showcasing the best talent build for leveling, how to use it to quickly clear quest areas, as well as how to spend hero talent points optimally at each level, from 70 all the way to 80. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video of the Felfar Gaze channel. Quickly smash that like button, and let's get started! This is the build that you are going to level with, and as you see, it is quite different from what we are currently running in Raid or Mythic Plus. During leveling, what you want to do is to go to a quest area, have a lot of small cities, grab mobs in packs of 3 to 5, depending how spread they are. AOE them with your cities, dash around, collect all items quickly and leave. While you are handing in your quests and flying to the next quest zones, all of your small cities are back and you repeat the process. No complicated setups, preparations, ramping or uptime hungry talents. This do not make any sense during leveling. You also want maximum mobility to cover distance from point A to point B, especially in caves where you cannot mount up. While you are still using the 2 set bonus from Dragonflight Season 4, you want to remove 1 point from Blind Fury and add it to Furious Throws. This will buff your passive throw glaives from your blade dance. Then you also need some sustainability talents to keep you healthy while leveling. And finally, you want some soul generation talents to get you some extra self healing and to feed the Aldrazi River hero talent, which is extremely easy to play and extremely overpowered for leveling. I will not go over a lot of details here, but the absolute basic idea of Aldrazi River is that you consume 6 soul fragments, activate River's Glaive, execute a combo for big damage, and then repeat. Naturally, this hero talent tree wants to maximize soul fragment generation, and you pick all important talent to do that, but there is a bonus. During leveling, each mob that dies drops a soul fragment. This small detail completely breaks Aldrazi River, making it explode with infinite reverse glaive combos and letting you ride a roller coaster to level 80. Things get even better at level 74 when you get the capstone trait Thrill of the Fight, allowing you to constantly have 20% increased damage from the subsequent combos. Your first point will go to Fury of the Aldrazi. There's only one thing you need to remember. Every time you cast Reverse Glaive, cast Chaos Strike once before casting your next Blade Dance. Follow up with Aldrazi tactics for even more Soul Fragment generation to accelerate your combos. At level 73, you pick Reverse Mark, which does not really do too much for leveling. Then, once you get to 74, you want to unlearn Reverse Mark and get Incisive Blade and Thrill of the Fight. This is where things are getting interesting and you are starting to spiral out of control. At level 75, you get River's Mark again. At 76, once more, you unlearn River's Mark to get Unhindered Assault and Army onto oneself for some extra mobility and survivability. At 77, you get Preemptive Strike. And finally, from 78 to 80, you grab the last three talents, which are very powerful when doing consistent single target but have very low impact during leveling. When you first approach a new quest area, you either use the Hunt or Sigil of Spite to instantly get your first Reverse Glaive. You execute your combo and get Thrill of the Fight. Then you use this 20% damage buff to hit Glaive Tempest, Eye Beam and Essence Break. Before you know it, you kill some more mobs, get some souls and you have a new Reverse Glaive to do another combo and buff even more spells. When you pull multiple targets, you can Chaos Nova them to get more souls with Chaos Fragments. Between your small bursts, you keep dashing around, clicking and collecting items on the ground while you passively stack momentum for your next attack. You can pull mobs that are away with Taunt or with regular Throw Glaives, which have 40 yard range thanks to the Champion of the Glaive. When you are completing a quest area, you should have everything on cooldown. All of Havoc cooldowns are up to 2 minutes long and they will regenerate while you are flying from one area to the next one. So you can start all over again. You can move one talent point from Chaos Fragments to either consume magic or sigil of misery, if you feel that you need this utility. Also, if you feel like you need darkness to survive, you can drop soul sigils to get it. Having covered all of these topics, there is one last tip I have for you, and that is to subscribe to Felfar Gaze TV. I will be making a ton of Havoc Demon Hunter content, guides and gameplay in the War Within, both for PvE and PvP. If you enjoyed this leveling guide, please share the love and like this video. And as always, see you in the next one!